All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Welcome back to the channel. In the previous video, I got a comment asking... Um, if we could do tutorials on wallpapers and uh, just backgrounds in general so let me show you an example of what I mean so uh, right here is a good example of what I mean by a background so all of this was done in Photoshop and uh, there is UI on top of this so if I remove these and the logo this is the background right here um, these are just color adjustments but uh, this was all done in Photoshop. Today's tutorial, we are going to be doing something space related. The first thing I am going to do is I am going to um, select a dark gray wallpaper um, color. And I'm just going to go Alt Backspace to fill the entire canvas. Let's go for the Ellipse tool. And we're just going to make a new layer. And you just wanna, you're just gonna wanna hold Alt and uh, Shift as you are dragging. This is going to be our moon. So right over here, we go to Fill, click here, and you can change the color. So we have this, and I'm just gonna Control T. I'm going to resize it just a little bit. I'm going to leave it up here. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our pencil, make a new layer, hold Alt. Go in between and when you see this icon, you just want to click. So when you click, it will clip this into the ellipse layer. And now we're just going to use our pencil and go up here. We're just going to click and on the second click, you want to uh, drag. So click and hold just like that. And we're just going to go around. There we go. Now to get rid of this blue outline, you just want to hit Control Shift H for horse on your keyboard. There we go. Now I'm just going to lower the opacity for this. Now we're going to use our ellipse tool again, make a new layer. And we're just going to shift alt as we drag and make some circles. Select the same uh, color. So you want to hold alt and drag. This is going to make copies. And you just want to resize. Something like this. And this one. There we go. And now what we are going to do is we're going to take the original ellipse. We're just going to hold Alt, drag down to make a copy. Control T to um, transform. Hold Shift and Alt as you drag up. We're going to change this color to white. Complete white. We're just going to lower the opacity. Now I'm going to right click and go into blending options. I'm going to go to drop shadow. Distance all the way down. I'm going to turn this up just so I can see for now. And if you see the shadow in the background, as you can see. So I'm going to have that. And I am just going to lower the opacity to 30. I'm going to take this, copy it. So hold Alt and drag, same thing. Control T, we're going to resize this. Something like that. And drop the opacity further. And uh, one more copy. So this is the third one. Something like that. And uh, on second thought, I am going to play around with the color for the background. Let's see if we could choose a better color. Maybe something a little bit bluish. Could work. Um, Alright, I think I'm going to settle with this color. Alright. Now we are going to make a new layer. And go to our ellipse tool. Now we are going to make some stars. So make a circle. And we're going to zoom in. Control T, we're gonna make this a lot smaller. All right, now we're just gonna copy and duplicate these all over the entire canvas or around the moon to get some stars. So let's make some variation. Um, hold Shift, click on the bottom to select all of these in between. Control E to merge as one. Now we're just gonna take these and we are just going to copy and paste these everywhere.
and uh, I think that's good and now I'm going to do the same thing except now I'm gonna fill in some of these empty spaces because you can see the shape is repeated so you just want to fill in some spaces something basic like this Alright, so once you're happy with that, uh, let me just fix this, and I'm going to right click, these are the rings, these are the uh, glow around the moon, so I'm going to just color, color them so it's easy to tell, but uh, hold shift, click on the bottom layer of the stars, control E, and uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer, ellipse tool, once again, but this time we're going to make a shape around this size. We're gonna copy it, Control J, and this time we're gonna go to Filter, Blur, go to Motion Blur, hit Rasterize, and we're gonna zoom in, select an angle, so around here, something like this, and hit OK. Use your eraser tool, and we're just gonna erase this side. So let me turn this up, something like that, and uh, we could also use our eraser tool to just kind of fade away detail of this. So with this right here, we can merge it and just copy and paste. And now we can make a new layer above everything. Use our brush tool right over here. And I'm going to have it on white. I could just paint over this right here. Just one click. Should be enough. Overlay. You can see the difference. Copy it again. One more time. This I'm going to have it on normal. So now with this, um, we could rasterize the layer style for the uh, background and uh, let's make a copy control J go in here go to gradient overlay and from here let's select an angle and we're just gonna try something interesting so let's go overlay and there we go and here we can select some of our colors. Um, I don't like that. I'm gonna try this side. All right, that's looking a lot better. There we go. And now for some final adjustments, we're gonna take everything. Hold Shift, click on the bottom. Control G to group. Control J to copy. Control E to flatten. Hide this one. And uh, here's what we got. We need control J for one more copy. We're gonna go up to filter, camera raw filter, wait for this to load, and we're just going to mess with the settings. Alright, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and I uh, will see you all next time.